All right, so episode three of the Waterhouse series, I'm going to be taking you through how I do my texturing in Blender. So in the previous episode, we did the massing and we did the lighting, and now we're just going to be setting up the texturing on the walls and the ceiling and the floor. So let's just jump straight into it. So this is where we left off with the scene and we can see it's just all white and we've got some nice lighting, but you're not really seeing any of the architecture properly. So if we go to the object shader, and what I'm going to be using for this is Polygon. It is a paid product, but you can literally follow along with the exact same process by just using normal shaders. Um, and you can get free textures online for, you know, pretty easily. Um, so if I go across to my assets, there's a few that I'm thinking about using. And there's this brick one that I use quite a lot in my projects. I'll see if I can find it. So what I might use is the Bricks Roman buff, and then I'll probably alter the color, but I do really like the the kind of shape of it. I think it's quite good. But before we do that, I need to actually create the UV maps for the object, uh, for, the, for the wall. So if I start off by going applying all transforms, and I go in here and I go mark seam, and then I go unwrap, now we've just made the texture map onto the object properly and if this is like sounding like gibberish i do do um proper beginner um tutorials so you can check that out on my um on my youtube channel and i use a add-on called texel density and this literally just makes the texture the right size for the measurements of the object so it means that the brick isn't like a meter long you know it's just like the correct size so if I go from 512, oh, and also Texel Density Checker, you can just literally get that for free on um, on the internet. I forget where I got it from. So I'm going to change this to 4096, and I'm just going to make sure that this texture is... So this is 4K, perfect. So I've just made the Texel Density of the object 4K, and I'm going to change this to 20.48. And that's good for 4K. So if, you, if you've got a 2K texture, you change this from 4096 to 2048. And then you're going to go 10.24. And if it looks wrong, just play around with it. So there's no harm in doing that. And then I'm going to go apply. And you can see it's kind of rotated 90 degrees. I'm just going to go to the UV editor. And I'm going to select everything, and in here, I'm just going to rotate by going R and then 90. So we've just made that brick the correct angle. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for this here. So let's go, actually, let's do it for this, 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 and this. So let's select it all, mark seams, go out of this. We're going to go um, Control A, apply transforms. We're going to go back in, unwrap, apply the texel density. And if this is too fast, remember there's full beginner tutorials on this. So this is just for intermediate people. And let's go to Polygon. And I'm going to apply the same... Well, actually, I don't need to go to Polygon. I can go to Shader Editor. And I'm going to go here. And I'm going to apply this by clicking on it. And I'm going to do the same for that one. And we just want to we just want to rotate those ones as well by going R ninety. Perfect. And we'll get onto the glass probably at another episode because this is gonna probably be two episodes worth. Um, but that's all the brick for now, and then we can look at the displacement later. But for the floor, I'm gonna use a asset called a flooring generator. And this is like so, so useful. It's um, it's on the Blender Marketplace. I've got a link in the description for you to check out. But literally, you just go to your asset browser. So if I drag this floor standard on here, you can see it just literally drops straight on. And I'm just going to like drag these out to where they need to be. And I can kind of finesse this up a little bit more later on. But you can see... I don't need to do any UV mapping at all. It just like automatically figures it out. And there's natural variation in here, which is so cool. 
But if I want to play around with the texture, all I need to do is drag and drop it on, which is just nuts. Like it's so, so easy to use. And what's even cooler is it actually makes the 3D geometry for you. So I would, before I would literally spend so much time trying to like create variation and stuff in, in the in the floor and it would just not look very good. So this is just a great method to quickly get really really good results so that's where i'm gonna leave it in this episode we're gonna split up the shading episodes into a few different blocks so in the next ones we're gonna be doing glass and water which are really really fun and they're quite tricky to to get right and then we're gonna be looking at doing 3d planks to um, put on the ceiling and it's just gonna create some really nice geometry there so make sure to check out my instagram at oliver higgins architecture if you want to see the kind of work i do as a professional and you can also jump on my discord there's a link in the description and you can share your work and get feedback from me so i'll see you on the next one cheers <laughs>